This is that story where the country boy goes to the city. I went on vacation to San Francisco. When I arrive, sure enough, it's big. But I arrive in the night, so I really can't see anything. Except the lights when I land were swept in. And the next thing I know it, I'm under the city in the part or the that's what they call the subway there. I don't even know what street that is. Like it would have helped me. We just emerged surrounded by buildings at the time. So I can't see the skyline. I can't see anything else around it. So we kind of make our way to the dark city end up at the apartment place. Already this is a little bit different living situation. People crammed together in these buildings, having to go through a series of gates, locks, keys. It's quite a bit of a procedure. Maybe they're keeping something special back there. Whatever it is, we make our way back and uh, kind of do the usual. This is my place. I have a glass of water. This is where you're gonna sleep at. That type of hospitality that uh, my cousin, who was hosting me, another southerner, knew how to procure. Next week, just get up and then go out and see this place. The city does just open up all of a sudden. Not so much the size of it, it's the things and the people. And it's just so dense. One adventure after another, one discovery. What is around that next street, that next corner? Where does it go? Where does it connect together? After a week of going to the places, Alcatraz had Indian food for the first time. That kind of blew my mind started thinking about food and spices in a complete different way than I had before. I had a lot of encounters with people on the street and in bars. They were going at it. I was really down with this. Like the, the amount of fun and adventure that a person could have and being out there seeing. I felt in a way that these were birds of a feather, can I really identify with it? And with the people, that different culture, and I totally fell in love with it. Next thing I know, I'm on a plane again, trying to come to sorts with all of this. Didn't seem to be no going back. It's almost as if I'd seen too much. And everything just kind of pales in comparison. I was sick for a place to no longer be or appreciate in any sense a place where I was. That time came where you ask yourself that question. Like, do I, do I do that thing? I don't want to be an old man with regrets. So I got a one-way ticket, packed up three suitcases, and I left. Now we're to skip ahead. I can tell you now. grass ain't always greener, but as I had to know, as I always have to know, now went. When I got there, it was as I remembered, only you come to live in a place, you learn it a little deeper. And I reached this point. 
when I'm like, that's who I'm talking to. That's who this character is. I think the best way to describe that city, like Peter Pan, there is so many lost boys that live there. If you stay there, you stay this lost boy. Either that, or you become a pirate. I saw myself growing old there in the face. Getting hard, but in the actions, I'm still a lost boy, and I didn't want to be a pirate. this man? What does this look like? How does this manifest? Well, for one, this happened. And it happened a lot. And it took a while for it to happen. And at first, that, this. And that, first, this. Round, round they go. One for another. Uh, winds of life. 